Optical compensations play a key role in type design, and it has to do with inaccurate human visual perception, but they are not solely applicable to type design. These are concepts that can be used in any graphic design project. There are multiple optical compensations that will make your work look correct to the human eye even though they are not geometrically correct, and I'm going to try and tackle them as we build our clips, but before we get into that, we are going to talk about overshoot and undershoot. As an example, we are going to use these three shapes, and what we need to notice is that even though the shapes are geometrically equal in size, to our eyes they seem to be different. And that is because of the sharpness of dead tips. The sharper the outer extremity is, the smaller the shape looks. That's because the sharper something is, the harder it is for our eyes to see it. So what we need to do, even though it's not geometrically correct, is to increase the size of the shape to compensate for the human visual inaccuracy. In type design, increasing the size of the clip upwards is what we know as overshoot, while increasing the size downwards is known as undershoot. When it comes to the amount of overshoot or undershoot, it depends on the designer or the underlying shape within the clip. I usually do a 3% increase in size. Then you want to manually increase or decrease the size depending on how sharp the extremities look in comparison to each other. I will not be adding guides for overshoot and undershoot to the grid that we previously made as I feel it will only cause confusion. That's because their placement depends on the design of your typeface. And hopefully you will get a better grasp as we build some clips together. <laughs> 